All right, Advent of Code 2019, day six. What do we got? Uh, an orbit. Okay, I'm gonna read more carefully today since yesterday there were problems. Uh, what the heck? Verify maps, over count checksums, and direct orbits. Yes, fine. Squared, but you know. Part two, uh, just a distance, huh? You to Sam, okay.
One, two, three, four, five, six. So it should be three or seven. Okay. Uh, feels like I was a little bit too cautious today, but that went decently. Uh, so what's going on? So uh, we have a tree. Uh, the reason that we have a tree is that everything is orbiting one thing, which is uh, like a tree where everything has one parent. Um, so yeah, it's good to know about trees for today. Uh, so in part one, we were just supposed to count the total number of, uh, like for every node, just add up the size of the subtrees rooted at every node. Right, that is, uh, here the subtree rooted at E has five things, uh, because, yeah, I just look at the descendants of E, it's five things. Actually, I guess the size of the subtree minus one, because typically for the subtree you count the node itself, and in this problem we don't. Uh, so anyway, you can do this in linear time uh, just by sort of going bottom up. But I did n squared, it was a little easier to do, and it works fine. Uh, that's really simple because every subtree has linear size, so just for every node, you know, recurse on all its children and up their sizes. Uh, and part two is just uh, distance on a tree. Um, so, yeah, they just give you two vertices and you want to find the distance between them. Uh, they say that not the distance between them, between the objects they're orbiting, but that's just the distance between them minus two. Uh, so this is just um, what's called breadth first search. This is one of the simplest graph algorithms. Uh, so for part two, it's easiest to make both the edges uh, bidirectional so that you, know, you can go from a thing to the thing that is orbiting, not just from a th something to something that's orbiting it. Uh, that is, you can go backwards, you can go right to left on this graph, which is the thing that you're allowed to do. Um, so the way that breadth for search works uh, is you just, um, we're going to keep track of how far uh, the object is. Sorry, we're going to start right with you, that's what they told us to do. Or we could have start with, started with Santa, same difference, so it's distance between you and Santa, the same as the distance between Santa and you, okay, all the edges are uh, equivalent in both directions. Anyway, so we're going to keep track of the distances from everything to you, and we're also going to keep track of uh, sort of the things that we're currently exploring. So uh, every time you explore a new vertex, you grab it. If you've already seen it, then you can ignore it because uh, there was a faster path to this. Actually, for a tree, this doesn't happen. There's unique paths between all, two, all vertices in a tree. Uh, but in general, for a general graph, you need this line. Uh, then, so you mark off that that's the distance. And then for all of its children, right, if you could get to this node in d distance, then you can get to any of its children in d plus 1 distance. Uh, so then at the end, we will have computed the distance um, from u to all the nodes, or at least all the nodes that are in the same component. Right? If c didn't orbit b, you could still have this setup. And there's just no way to get from b to c in that case. Uh, I think in the import, probably everything was connected, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so anyway, we computed the distance between you and everything in our component, and now we just need the distance to Santa, and the answer is going to be that minus 2, because they said not to count uh, you and Santa. Um, yeah, so that's part 2, and then part 1 was just... Um, for part 1, you comment out this line, and then you run this code, and f of x just computes the sum of the subtree sizes. Uh, this is a nice way of just, if a node has no children, then, you know, you don't get an error, you get no children. Uh, so count the child itself, and then count the, the child's subtree. Probably would have been nicer to have this return uh, one for a leaf, and then we wouldn't need this plus one, but whatever, it's not too important. And, you know, part one, just add up the sizes of all the subtrees. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's day six.